Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, my name is Anna McCauley and today we're going to be looking at an online tutorial on the Harris Effect. Now I did record for you a previous video that was looking at and understanding channels and if you didn't watch that my recommendation to you to make this whole process a lot easier is to go back and just have a watch of it. All you have to do is watch through that one. Um, you're not actually doing anything, it's just a quick video on how to explaining, explain what the difference is between layers and channels and thus you'd understand this effect much easier. So today we're going to be having a look at doing uh, this image here which is my dog Teddy and as you can see there's a range of different colors in it um, and this is what we're going to be doing. So So the first thing I want to do is to show you channels and to show you the images that we've placed on channels. As I explained earlier, um, your picture, if it's a normal picture, is made up of a certain group of colours. This particular picture is made up of RGB or red, green, blue set of colours. Just like your colour printer has, you've got to put in different cartridges for your different printers. But what we've done with this image is that I've pasted that's a word, on the red channel one certain picture, on the green one a slightly different picture and on the blue one a slightly different picture again. So all three of them in combination go to this image here where he's slightly moving a little bit and every time he moves the colour changes. And that's the effect that we're going to have a look at doing today. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to close that off. So the first thing we're going to do is go File, Scripts, Load File into Stack. File, Scripts, Load File into Stack. Then we go to Browse. Now I have um, Teddy 1, 2 and 3 for you on my Pinterest, Ms McCauley and there's a link in on below the YouTube uh, for you to find or your teacher may have put this onto the network for you and downloaded it so that they're ready. Alternatively you can just take your own portrait uh, of someone or your dog or whatever in just three slightly different variations of them moving. It's much easier to start with that rather than doing something where it's completely different in size and scale and things. So. We're going to just, I'm going to hold my mouse down and I'm highlighting Teddy123 and go OK. So as you can see, they've come up there, Teddy123 and 3. And then I'm going to go, if that's all good, that's what we wanted, I'm going to go OK. So we're just waiting for that to come through on the layers. Right. So as you can see, we have Teddy 1, Teddy 2 and Teddy 3. And there, it's really we just loaded those files into stack just for convenience so that they're there. Um, but we're really not going to be using in the same way as we would use a layer. The first thing I want you to do is to click on Teddy 1. And you are going to go Control A. select all. So that will bring up a box. You are then to go control C which is to copy that. So we went just clicked on Teddy 1 on the layers, went control A and control C. So we've just all we've done is select all, we've copied it and we've copied it to a clipboard. Um, because we copied it to a clipboard, it's going to understand, it's going to remember the um, ratio of this particular picture. So I'm going to go File New, and because we did that first, it remembers it. See how it's, how it's coming from clipboard? And it's going to default to that size. That's one of the convenient things about it. And I'm just going to write Teddy Harris 1 or something like that, and go OK. So now it's just giving me a new file with Teddy Harris 1. So we are going to be working between Untitled 1 and Teddy Harris 1. All right, so that's what you've got to get used to clicking up on the top bar between those two. 
So as we have already copied the Teddy 1 onto our clipboard by control seeing it, go on to Teddy Harris 1. Now instead of pasting it onto layers, which is what we're so used to doing and we really want to do that without, you know, without thinking, you're going to click on channels. Now if you cannot see channels there on your palette, you need to go to window, channels and click on channels. Let's bring mine back up because I, when I clicked on I took it off. So you need to make sure that that's on. Now at the moment it's got nothing there because we don't have an image in there, yeah? So it's kind of just saying, well, there's no colours for us to put into that. So what I'm going to do is instead of clicking on a layer, I just want you to think of it, the, it's layer red we're going to be clicking onto. So channel red, layer red. So we're going to paste into channel red and I'm going to go control V. Ta -da! So that's the first image. When you've done that, so what we did first, we were on the untitled one, we control a it, we control c it, we made a new file, then we went into the channels part of the new file and paste into the red channel. So far so good. And the shortcuts we were using, control a was select all, Control C was copy and Control V was paste. If you get lost and you've forgotten those, you'll find them up under edit, except for select all. Select all is in under select. Alright, so they're all under edit. So now you've just got to remember to do this. Click back onto layers first before you go back to untitled one. Then go to Untitled 1, click on Teddy 2, because it's already selected, you can tell that because the worms are all around, or the ants are around, dancing around the outside. We're just going to go Control c and copy Teddy 2 onto our clipboard now. Then I'm going to click on Teddy Harris 1, our new file that we're making. Instead of on layers, we don't paste it into there. No, 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 no layers. We paste it into channels. And we've already pasted into our red. So if you paste into there again, it will just overwrite it. It'll just put a new image on there. You can do that, of course, later on if you want to play around with it. Uh, but I'm going to put it into the green channel now. So see how I've clicked on the green. And what was the shortcut to paste? Control V. Aha, uh -huh. so now we've got two different images gone into our two different channels. Before you move off Teddy Harris 1, you make sure you click onto Layers. Then you go back to Untitled 1 and click on Teddy 3. Control C, click back on Teddy Harris 1, back onto Channels. And then we're going to put it into the blue part because that's the bit that's missing. And the shortcut was to paste Control V. So now we have an image that has got red, green, and blue, but they're all different images gone into the channels palette. I'm going to click on the RGB and that's the result. Now that looks pretty cool. You can move, for example, if you click on the red one and you're on your move tool up here or press V, you can move Mr. Red around a little bit or just so control D, so deselect it first. You can move the red one around or blow him up or make him different. So see how I was put his red, the red one down there for a moment. So see how it's sort of down there. Um, I'll just move that back again. So I'll just, just see how he's there. So I'll just, just, sorry, just give me one second. I'll go Control Z, Control Alt Z, which is undoing it. So you can move them around a little bit, but just beware it will crop it off. So there are some images. So you can, for example, if you just wanted to not have all of the red, green, and blue, you might not want the blue. So see how now that's just red and green. Looks cool. You could do a different combo. You could go blue and red and just save that. So see how when I click on my layers, that's just then that image. 
So it really depends on what you want in terms of the image itself. So we'll just leave it at that. And that's already flattened, so we don't need to do anything with layers or flatten layers. And we're just going to go File, Save As, Teddy Harris Effect. Yep, fantastic one, save. And that's it. So the shortcuts, Control A, just select all. Control C to copy. New fold, new image in the channels palette, paste into individual channel colors. And there it is. It's that easy. So, you know, keep practicing. Um, just do it step by step. And in no time, you'll just think that that is just so easy. You don't even know why you thought it was hard. Um, until next time, happy photoshopping.